Hello everyone, welcome back to the map of mathematics. In this video, we are going to solve this nice algebra problem. And here we have n minus 4 to the power of 4 is equals to n to the power of 4. And now we can solve this problem for the values of n. So the very first thing we are going to do is here first, I can rearrange this equation as uh, now first we will move this n to the power of 4 in the left hand side and we will write it as n minus 4 and its whole power 4 minus n to the power of 4 is equals to 0 and now in the next step I can rearrange these equations as in the form of n minus 4 and its whole square and its whole power 2 minus n square and its whole square is equals to 0 and here we can use the nice square identity and you know about this one if we have a squared minus b squared it is equals to a minus b times of a plus b so now we can apply here this nice formula in the above term so that uh, the above terms will be written in the form of n minus 4 whole square minus n square into n minus 4 whole square plus n square and this whole equation is equal to 0. And now in the next step we can just open these two squares and we will find its output in the form of so here you see that we have n minus 4 whole square minus n square now we can again use this formula here and you will get its output in the form of n minus 4 minus n into n minus 4 plus n and now here we can open the square of this term and we will get n square plus 4 square minus 2 times of n into 4 and plus n square and this whole equation is equals to 0 and here you see that this n are cancelled by each other and we will get here minus 4 times of uh, here we can add these two one and you get 2n minus 4 into here we obtain n squared plus 16 minus 8n and plus n squared is equals to 0. Now we will simplify the terms and we first multiply this 4 uh, on uh, both of the terms and you will get here minus 8n plus 16 into here we add this n square and you will get 2n square minus 8n plus 16 is equals to 0. So here we have two cases. The first case is we take minus 8n plus 16 is equals to 0 and the other case is we take 2n square minus 8n plus 16 is equals to 0. So in the first case uh, here we move the 16 in the right hand side and you will get minus 8n is equals to minus 16 and we get n is equals to minus 16 over minus 8. So here you see that this minus are gone and 8 twos are 16 and finally we will get the values of n is equals to 2. So this is the first real root of uh, this equation. So now uh, in order to find the other roots we will solve this nice quadratic equation. So here first I can divide each term by 2 on both of the sides. So you will get its output in the form of here these two are cancelled and we will get here n squared minus 4n plus 8 is equals to 0. So this 2 4s are 8 and this 2 8s are 16. So now here we have this uh, nice quadratic equation in simplified form and now we will apply the quadratic formula in order to solve this equation. So here we have a is equals to 1 
b is equals to minus 4 and c is equals to 8 and now we can use the quadratic formula in order to solve this equation so quadratic formula is n is equals to minus b plus minus b squared minus 4 times of ac and its whole square root over 2 times of a and now we can put all the values of a b and c in this formula and we will get our desired roots so that here we have the value of b is minus 4 when we can put here so this minus and minus will becomes plus and plus 4 and this plus minus here you have the value of b is minus 4 so minus 4 squares equals to 16 and minus 4 times of ac the value of a is 1 and c is 8 so 4 times of 8 is minus 32 square root over 2 times of a and the value of a is 1 so now we will simplify this quadratic formula and here you get n is equals to 4 plus minus here you have 16 minus 32 and 16 minus 32 is equals to minus 16 square root over 2 and now we can simplify the terms and we will obtain here the value of n is equals to 4 plus minus here you have the square root of 16 is 4 and square root of minus 1 is equals to iota because you know that the value of iota is square root of minus 1 we will use here this value and this whole over 2 so now we can separate these terms and finally we will get here the values of n is 2 plus minus 2 iota so these are the other two roots of the given equation and these roots are complex roots and this is our final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos